Hello YouTube world. I want to do a real quick video on something I saw on television the other day. And this was a clip from Fox News. I think it's July 21st, 2019. I think this was uh, three or four days ago. But they were talking about the, severe, the severity of the violence in Chicago. And they put up this graphic on the screen listing these numbers. And this really struck, struck, you know, stuck out to me, this second number here. July 4th weekend, 66 shot, 6 dead, 666, six, six. just right in your face. And I put this in a lot of my videos, how frequently I see, and many people see the number 666 six, six flashing up and being shown everywhere. And this is no coincidence at all. Uh, those of us that know the Lord Jesus Christ and know the truth can see this and can see that it is very obvious. Uh, this world is getting worse and worse every single day. Satan is the current ruler of this world. And look at everything going on, the just explosion of this transgender movement in America. Look at how our civil liberties and rights are being taken away more and more every day. Look at how perversion and perverse sexual behavior and all these things are being accepted as normal and promoted. Our society is just being destroyed at every single day, and it's in a downward spiral. And we are getting to the point where we're coming very, very close to the tribulation period where the mark of the beast will be instituted and the Antichrist will rule on earth. And if you have not repented and accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, you absolutely must do so. Do it today. Do it today. Do it right now. Because our, our eternal souls are at stake, and it's either going to be God's kingdom in heaven or eternity in hellfire. And whether you believe it or not, it is the truth. When you die and cross over, there are no atheists on the other side. The people that died atheists, they're in hell right now. It, I just can't even imagine the pain and suffering of knowing you were deceived. You rejected the living God. You rejected his love for you, and you died in sin. So anyhow, you know, the, the importance of this number 666, it, it goes back to Revelation. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is 603 score and 6. 666, 666. And this is speaking of the Antichrist ruling on the earth and causing all to take the mark. And it is saying, the Apostle John, here is wisdom. This is wisdom. He's saying, this is wisdom. Look for this. This is incredibly important. And the reason people don't understand this, they mock it, they think it's foolish, is they've been completely deceived and blinded by Satan. The God, lowercase g, not the true God, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, but the God, lowercase g, the false God, in whom the God of this world, Satan, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The vast majority of this world has been blinded. Their minds have been totally deceived by the devil, Satan, and they don't even know it. And the reason so many people mock this and they think it's foolish, and when myself and others bring this up or we point out this number 666 showing up everywhere and use it in reference to Satan, they think we're nuts. They think we're foolish. They think it's a big joke. The reason is clearly said here in the book of Ephesians in the Bible. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
And whether people believe it or not, there are demon spirits and fallen angels and evil beings all around us on this planet Earth. And they influence the way we think and we behave. Have you ever wondered why someone gets high on meth and just goes on a murder rampage. It's because they are opening the door for those demon spirits to possess them and those demons are acting through them to commit murder and violence. So whether people believe it or not, they are being influenced, their thoughts, their minds, their actions by demons and fallen angels and evil spirits. And the only way to have power against that is through the blood and the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name is above all their names. Every knee shall bow to that name and every tongue shall confess it. So those of us that know the Lord Jesus Christ know the truth. And we are not blinded and deceived by Satan and his workings. But this, the Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians, this is the reason that people are so badly deceived, and not only do they not see these things, but they mock them. So I just wanted to put this information out there. It is the truth, and we are coming very close to the time of the tribulation period and the mark of the beast being put on people. So on that there, I just insert, sincerely encourage you to repent. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive your sins and to save your soul. He will do it. He, he did it for me. He's done it for millions and millions of people out there. So God bless you, everyone, and have a great day.